Hi everybody. I am just coming on tonight because I have our deluxe cooking blender out and I am going to make some hummus. We're probably going to have a movie night tonight or watch a little bit of television together. So I'm making us a snack for later and I am going to make a roasted red pepper hummus. Now there is a recipe in the cooking guide that comes with your deluxe cooking blender for homemade hummus. It doesn't call for the roasted red bell peppers. Um, I'm actually going to tweak it a little bit because I just thought that would be great. I didn't want to make the roasted red pepper and walnut dip that's in here. I'm going to try it eventually, but I didn't want to make that tonight. So I'm just adding some roasted red bell peppers to the regular hummus. So all I've got right now is a can of chickpeas that I've drained. I did reserve a quarter cup of the liquid off of the chickpeas in case the mixture needs more liquid in it when I start blending it. And that's what the recipe asked me to do, so that's what I'm doing. I don't know if I'll need it or not. It just depends, I guess, on how thick or how runny it ends up being. So, my can of chickpeas. And then I've got a can of Great Northern Beans. I mean, this is just Ingalls brand that I have drained. I did not reserve any liquid from this. So it's just the can of drained Great Northern Beans. Hang on, I'm going to grab a spoon. There's a few left down in there, so let's get those out. Alright, so a can of Great Northern Beans. And then it calls for two tablespoons of lemon juice. And it tells you in the book when you're doing these that you're you're adding the ingredients in the order that they have them listed. So I'm trying to be good and do that. Um, although I, sometimes I I go off the the recipe and I do things a little bit differently. But this again is a new recipe for me, so I'm trying to do it the way it says to do it. Um, two tablespoons of olive oil. garlic clove and I'm um, again I'm going a little bit off there because we really like garlic so two cloves are going in and then let's see one tablespoon of sesame seed I'm going to grab a different tablespoon for those since I just used my other one for my olive oil and lemon juice so the sesame seeds would just stick to it so a tablespoon of sesame seeds going in and a teaspoon of salt. And that's about a teaspoon. Okay. Now, it did not call, like I said, for um, roasted red bell pepper, but I'm throwing it in. And that's just one of the roasted red bell peppers out of a jar that I've purchased. Um, if I decide that I want more in there, I'll add more towards the end. But that's it. So I've added all of the ingredients that it calls for. I'm just going to lock the lid on. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And then we're going to go to the grind setting. Which is the same setting that I used for um, peanut butter the other day. So it only takes a couple of minutes to make this, just like it only took a couple of minutes to make the peanut butter. So I'm going to get this going. I'm not going to talk much while it's doing its thing. I'm going to get the tamper out in case um, anything starts coming up the side or it needs a little bit of help getting down to the blades. So here we go. I'm going to add some of that liquid. 
liquid and then help it get moving. There we go. It's a very pretty color from the red pepper. the rest of that liquid because I feel like it needs it to, to blend it. There we go. So it's doing its thing there. This thing is so cool, y'all. Tomorrow night I'm making tomato basil soup for our dinner in this because it can actually cook soup. So I'll come on and do that as well. And the tamper is made with this stop up here. It can hit the blade. So that was a feature that I really liked because I was a little concerned that I might hit the blade and that was not good. And that's it. We made hummus. So let's have a look. See what it's looking like. Oh, it looks great. It's really smooth. Let me see if I can get this over here to where you guys can see it better. So I don't know if I'm going to end up thinking that it is a little too runny by adding that liquid. I don't think so. I think once I refrigerate it, um, it'll probably thicken up a bit and I think it'll be fine. You don't want it to be too thick or then whatever you're going to use to dip into it. If it's a cracker, the cracker's just going to break or whatever. So, And it's really delicious. So that's it. Roasted red pepper hummus, guys. And I'll show it to you later once I get it into a bowl and have it on a tray with maybe some of our pita crackers or... Um, whatever we're going to dip in it. You can use carrot sticks, um, you can use celery sticks, but you can certainly use nan bread if you eat nan bread. Um, but I got some crackers and things to go with this tonight. So anyway, that's it. Very cool. And then I'm going to, um, after I get this out of here, I will do the, the heated wash, the self-cleaning that it does. So, which is the most amazing part of this appliance is that it cleans itself. Love it. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.